Okay, so The Boys Season 2, first three episodes are out now, currently on Amazon. You can check them out now. Then they're going to drop weekly. I think the next one, the 11th of September, is when it drops, which is episode four, and then every week, so on and so on, they're going to drop an episode. So you will be getting weekly, weekly. I mean, come on, Alex, learn to speak. Speak English. You will be getting weekly reviews on the episodes of The Boys, because I love The Boys. Now, in this one, I'm going to review episodes one to three. I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on how I think this season's going so far, and... Let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts of The Boys? Did you love it? Did you hate it for the first three episodes? Is it living up to season two? Make sure you give us a like, subscribe, and let's jump right into this review. Okay, so The Boys season two, episodes one, two, and three are out now. I'm going to start off by saying, look, the, I love The Boys. Absolutely loved season one. I thought it was fucking so good. It was so good, it was everything I wanted. Dark, gritty, just bonkers, just perfect. Everything I wanted this TV show to be, it was. And there was great things that happened in the first season to set it up into going into the second season with that cliffhanger of an ending. Now, the first episode is slow. The second one is slow as well. I. The third one is when it picks up and it gets really juicy, really interesting, and they start showing you different battles between certain people we're going to see moving forward, and the character arcs that they are setting for season two, which is looking to be very, very juicy. Season one is all about the setup. It's all about re-establishing what happened in the first season and where we are at this current point in time, what has happened in season one and what are the ramifications of what has occurred with our main characters, the boys and the seven and Vought, of course. Now, we all know the ending. If you haven't seen it, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but there's a cliffhanger, cliffhanger of an ending after season one that ties into the next one. And to me, I think what the first episode was was lacking was having uh, a certain character there that I just think you need to have in this. I think his character is just something that we need in this and it was so great when he showed up at the end of the first episode and things started to pick up as soon as his character got back involved. Now, I really liked how they are getting these character arcs going. I mean, Homelander's arc, I mean, Homelander, Homelander's my favourite character. I absolutely love his character. I mean, the guy is awesome, but so freaking scary. Like, he is one of those characters that you just look, and he's so unpredictable. You don't know what's going to happen, and you're just scared of him. Like, he's a scary dude. It's awesome acting. It's fantastic acting in all of, all of this. I love all the acting in this, but his character arc that he looks like he's going to go through in season two is a bit of a, going to be a juicy one. I mean, he's all about being the spotlight, being the leader, being the guy, the go-to man. And when a certain new character gets in, involved and gets, starts trying to take the limelight from him, they set that up in episode three perfectly for his character and the new character that has entered the seven. And I am so intrigued and so interested to see the dynamic that's going to play with Homelander and Stormfront. I think that's her name, Stormfront. Those two, I mean, they are setting that up to she's going to try and take the limelight from him. And we all know what Homelander's like. Meanwhile, he's got to deal with his kid as well and everything that's going on with that. And he's trying to deal with that and the, everything that's going on with Vought. I mean, there's just so much that I'm so intrigued about this character arc that Homeland is going to go through. I think his character is going to be really tested, and we're going to see the dark, dark version of him again. We're going to see the brutal version of Homelander, which I'm so excited for. We um, also see the there are different characters that are going through these character arcs as well. Starlight's going, I think that's her name, Starlight. She's going through a character arc as well that they're setting up pretty pretty good as well like i mean her and hugh's relationship and their character 
dynamic is going to be tested in season two. I'm really, really interested to see what they're going to do with that dynamic and how they're going to integrate that into season two. Where is that going to go to after episode three? Um, Carl Urban's character, absolutely loved him. He's back again, and just, I'm interested to see, he's got motives for season two. He's got major motives. I'm so in excited to see what he's going to do in season two. I mean, his motives are, yeah, they're just, it's going to be insane. I mean, I mean, every time he's on screen, I just love it. He just, he brings the charisma, he brings the laughs, he brings everything that I love about the boys to the screen, and it's just, it's so, so good. Um... There's the deeps going through a character arc that they're setting up as well. That season three, uh, episode three, sorry, really dove into a bit more of that about why he's doing certain things and how he feels certain ways, which I'm very interested to see what they're going to do with his character as well. I mean, so far, the first two episodes are set up for character arcs and everything like that. Also in episode three, they have set up two... Besides Homelander and Stormfront, they have set up another battle that I am just... Ah, uh, it's just... I cannot wait to see. Something happens in Episode 3 that a certain character sees that he's not happy with. And, you know, they give the whole... They're on TV and the characters just... As they, like, pan in. And you can just see the anger, the revenge, the vengeance on that face. And I'm so excited to see that battle as well and how that's going to pan out. But, I mean, the first two episodes are slow burns. They are the setup. Season, uh, season three. Why do I keep saying season three? Episode three, it really starts kicking off and really starts getting back to what the boys is and showing us what we should expect moving forward now. And I expect it to now pick up and go bonkers like it did in the first season. I'm really excited. So far, I am loving it. It's not as good as the first season so far, but then again, it's only the first three episodes. There's still six more to come out, so I'm going to reserve that. But so far, I'm happy at the moment. I'm not going to be complaining about it, and I am so excited for episode four. Cannot wait. So let me know in the comments, did you love the first three episodes of season two for the boys? Have you seen it? What are your thoughts? Give us a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.